Hi, this is John from Chicago and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the US uh, 65 Pro, which is a 2S Tiny Whoop. I think this Tiny Whoop uh, might dethrone the uh, champ from last winter, the Mobulus 6. This has more thrust, it's faster, and has longer flight times. Um, I'm going to give you a breakdown of all of these, the thrusts, flight times, weights, and things like that. Now for the specs. Um, the quad weighs 22.9 grams as a dry weight, 2S model, so it uses two uh, batteries, and that would kick it up to 37.4 grams. The quadcopter, per the name, it's uh, 65 millimeters from propeller to propeller, or center of motor to center of motor. Uh, it comes with uh, 0802 motors. Uh, these are the new ones that are a little bit lighter, and they're uh, 14,000 kV, which works great with 2S. Uh, the flight control board is the new uh, Crazy BX. And it has a built-in uh, VTX, 25 milliwatt, and it also has a built-in SPI receiver. So the only board that this one has is just the main flight control board. Uh, the camera is the CADX Ant, and it's a really good camera, and it's just a little bit heavier than um, the RunCam um, cameras that you find on the Mobulus 6. Um, the, um, for the... Um, receiver or radio connection uh, I have on here the uh, SPI and I'm using the FR Sky I also have a model that has the Fly Sky that I'm going to make into a um, 75 millimeter uh, tiny whoop uh, but in addition to those uh, you could get the a TBS Crossfire as an option or you could get the FR Sky uh, RXS uh, um, receiver um, so they give you a variety um, of different options. Other things that come with this that makes this a pretty good deal is they have a six-way charger that works with the new plugs. Uh, most people are not going to like the new plugs uh, at first. I've gotten used to them, and if you don't mind buying some extra ones, um, they're, they work out pretty good. But they're harder to plug in than the older standard plugs, but they do produce uh, more power out of them, and it's a more substantial plug. Um, let's see, beside that, they'll give you the power supply to run the um, six-place charger, which is nice. Most uh, in the past, uh, they haven't done that, and the Sheen has a very nice case they give you, like always, and you get a uh, camera controller, and you get extra props and a screwdriver and instructions. Uh, we'll go to the um, thrust test next. Thrust test, um, US 65 Pro 2S. We are starting the range test now, and um, most of the quads that I've done this range test in uh, generally vary from 200 meters to 300 meters. Uh, the maximum that my course allows is 300 meters, otherwise I go past the fence. Uh, for radio, I'm using my FR Sky x Lite with a D8 receiver, and VTX, I'm using the Rapid Fire with circular and a patch antenna, and the uh, transmitter here is 25 milliwatts. This driveway here is my house, and that's at 400 or 165 meters. Where the sidewalk uh, or bike path comes around right there, it's 200 um, meters. And that white fence you see in the distance is my goal, and that's at 300 meters distance. I had uh, one. I have two units here. The first one was a. Uh, FR uh, or a fly sky and I only made 250 meters which is good this is my FR sky and I'm the fence is 300 meters and I make it uh, I'm able to turn around and head on back um, the next thing that I'm doing is the uh, indoor speed test the next test is the indoor speed test I'm trying to see what the time, average lap time is for three uh, contiguous laps. And in the past, my times varied from 9 seconds up to about 15 seconds per lap. And this is my fastest quad so far, uh, the US uh, 65 Pro, at an average of 8 seconds per lap.
We are now on the outside track uh, going around the playground of the park. This is a 500 foot long track and again it's three continuous um, laps the average speed. Uh, this uh, my times in the past from other quads or uh, tiny whoops have varied from 11 seconds up to about 19 seconds. I'm averaging with the US Pro 65 I've been averaging eight seconds per lap which again is my fastest three laps so far. I'm now going out into the big park field and I normally don't run my tiny whoops out here because it's too big of a track. I think it's over 800 foot long um, and my times have varied on this with toothpicks and twigs from about 12 seconds up to 20 seconds and most of the tiny whoops have been 18 to 21 seconds and again I'm doing fairly good here with an average of 18 seconds per lap which is real good for a tiny whoop and it seemed to handle this large course even with a little bit of wind. Now for the pros and cons. Um, the um, US 65 Pro is very fast and it does acro very good because it has a lot of power for its size. Um, this could be the fastest tiny whoop for racing for this season coming up. It is. Um, it also has the highest thrust value for any 65 millimeter uh, size tiny whoop. Uh, the tune is good and handling is good. It seems to be quite durable. I only broke the battery tray, and I'll go into that under cons. Um, it's the best uh, distance, or it has the best range of any of the uh, SPI receivers at 300 meters. It made the maximum that my course allows. The camera is good, and I, it also has the best overall ranking for any of my tiny whoops on the attached spreadsheet here. Cons, uh, the battery tray does not work very good. Uh, to put two batteries in there, the little TPU part, it does not work as good as the Mobula 7. I ended up uh, putting the one battery in the bottom of the tray and then I would rubber band the second battery to it. The plugs are also hard to get used to, although once you're used to it, they seem to work quite good. Uh, they do deliver more power, but uh, again, it's another standard and different batteries you, you need to buy. I recommend buying this quad, especially if you have the skills to pay the bills, as Stu would say, and you're looking for a serious uh, racer for your tiny whoops for this coming season coming up. This might be the fastest one out there, although it's normally not the speed, it's the skill of the pilot. Uh, the other thing is this handles great, and if you have a big course or you're flying outdoors, this is definitely a contender for your best uh, tiny whoop that's out there for this new season. This quad's on sale now, and I left the link in the uh, description below. If you have any comments or questions, please add those to the comments below. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching.